Hi there, um, so this video is about how you can fix uh, the X, uh, Y and Z axis on uh, your uh, 3D printer um, and I put the um, the information regarding the model that I'm using which is the, I have no idea if you can see the LCD screen but it's a Pi 3 Pro B. Um, so um, first of all let's define what are the X, Y and Z axis. So X axis is this one, okay? So the one where the extruder is on, so the one which is going uh, somehow from the left uh, to the right. The Y axis is the one of the uh, bed which is the one which go uh, backward and forward and the Z axis is probably the most complicated of all of them is the one which goes from the uh, up to uh, down from up okay so that's Z axis and uh, it's kind of complicated because you have two motors which are controlling it okay uh, for each of those axes, you have a motor. So, for example, if we take the example of the X axis, you have a motor. This motor has a wire, and in fact, what controls the motor is the board that you can find over here. So, um, yes, like this. Okay. Here, uh, what you have is actually this given driver. Uh, I'm using here the GT2560 uh, card. Uh, so this given chipset control the X axis, which is the following wire. Okay, don't mess up. Uh, the big mistake that I did at the beginning is I actually I put this one and I put it here at the end. And in fact, at the end over here is the one of the extruder number two, which does not exist on the plus uh, i3. So as a result, in fact, when uh, you have a gap, when you don't have your uh, driver over here and you have here instead, it's messing up actually the either the extruder and the x-axis. So uh, first of all, always check that actually you have here uh, over here. Um, the one that you can see over here, those small cable, the black one, the red one, and the blue one are the one which uh, control the switch. And the switch, uh, this is those part. Okay, this is what we call a switch, and that's uh, most of the time the minimum value that the, for example here the y-axis is going to reach. Uh, when it starts. So it's, it's really important and those are uh, the, the right connection that you can see uh, over here. If uh, you have, um, let's say, a concern regarding the wire, if you think that the wire is broken, don't go and purchase one straight away. What you can do is that you can switch it with another one and see if actually uh, your motor is running and if that's the case with another switch probably means that actually you are not uh, using it uh, properly but at least it's not broken. Same thing for the motor, if you think that your motor is dead just try um, another motor and uh, I mean just uh, change the different uh, chip here and try to see if the motor is running on another switch. Um, I mean on another port. Okay, uh, that's the thing. Um, so regarding the x-axis, the reason why for me it was not working at the beginning was because I put this driver, I put it uh, on the other slot that I just showed you, which was this given one. Um, I did not get that much issue with the y-axis, it worked straight away. And regarding the zeta-axis, in fact, um, here I did not understand why my motor were not uh, working properly. Uh, the reason is that actually you see this part, this uh, rubber part of the x-axis, I had it too tight and as a result because I had it too tight this given bar was in fact not uh, straight like this. It was a little bit bent like this of about uh, one to two millimeters on the left and because that was tight, so it was pushing this given bar, and as a result, in fact, the motor uh, were forcing and uh, could not uh, make it work on the Z axis. So if you want to check if that's uh, the reason why your Z motor are not working, what you need to do is that you take a meter such as, such as this one, and you calculate uh, the distance that you have over here, okay, to the one that you have here down below and if you see a tiny difference even one millimeter it means that actually uh, it's forcing probably uh, here or probably here that's why in the forums they uh, most of the time ask you uh, to remove 
those parts out like this you won't have any resistance and uh, it will work straight away the issue is that due to the motor you will have some gravity which means that the day after when you uh, pick up your printer uh, the motor won't work anymore because uh, your structure will be la like this um, okay that's uh, what i wanted to show you uh, right now let's see if that works uh, so i just put my motor on like this and then i go back on my um, I go back on my uh, repeater, um, yes, repeater software. Uh, by the way, um, you have in the manual actually the right uh, configuration for your different uh, motors. So uh, let's imagine that I would like to control the uh, Y axis. If I click here on the home, what's going to happen is that the bed is going to hit the switch. You see, I'm clicking and bam, it's going to hit the switch. Um, things to know here is that uh, those are for the x-axis and those are for the y-axis and you can see that you have different level in, in repeat here in fact it's not just the button it's the level in itself so if you want actually to have the bed coming like uh, 50 in this direction what you need to do is that uh, you just need to click on it and it's gonna move in the right uh, direction you see that that it's moving in the right direction okay same thing for the x-axis so here if i want to move it by 10 i click on it and then it's going to move my 10. if i want to move it by 50 it's going to move by 50. okay um and by the way my wiring are not uh secure here i should actually uh, find a way to put them like this in order to ensure that uh, the wiring is, is good uh, okay so regarding the zeta axis uh same stuff if i click here on zeta it will go back until until the home Okay. okay okay you see this is not good at all right this is this is forcing on the structure oops so here i need to make some adjustment back because definitely you can see that's uh, i get some issue with the zeta axis that's uh yeah as you can see this part is is running fine and i can go down as well so here definitely i need to find what is the the good balance in order for the z axis to just hit this given switch without uh, forcing too much and as you can see if i just push it it will stop straight away because it will think that actually it hits the end of the printer and that's it. I uh, hope this video will help.